Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number three of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is low-rated slashers, and I will be giving my review for Sledge. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. A group of 20-somethings heading to a secluded campground for a peaceful weekend. What could go wrong? Hunted in secret by a vicious killer, Adam Lynch, a deranged maniac who wears the faces of his victims. The teens must do everything in their power to hold on to their sanity and their lives. Sledge features horror and humor in equal measure and is sure to leave you screaming for more. It's not a slasher, it's a sledger. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme of low-rated slashers, we were simply challenged to watch and review a slasher film with a score of 5.0 or lower on IMDb. I chose to review Sledge because it had an impressive 3.3 score, which I find to be really interesting considering the movie I did for last week's challenge had a 2.6, and I find it to be a far superior film to this one. And that just goes to show you that you should never go by a score. If something sounds interesting to you, then you should check it out for yourself and have your own opinion. Okay, so the basic setup for this one is we have a girl who really enjoys bad, low-budget horror films, and she is watching Sledge on TV. So this movie plays out as we are watching Sledge, and then it cuts back to her. She's giving her thoughts and opinions on the movie about how bad it is, but at the same time, how much of a good time she's having watching it. Now, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of this setup, but I do understand why they did it. It's because the storyline for Sledge is pretty simplistic. You basically have a group of friends who are going camping, and they're going to get picked off one by one. So they padded the runtime with the girl watching it on TV. Also in the middle of this movie, it cuts to her watching a trailer to another movie that actually seems to have some of the actors from Sledge. And I believe that movie was called Omnish Paradise. So it's a pretty strange setup. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but I understand that they needed to pad the overall runtime. This movie only clocks in at 75 minutes, and if you didn't have all this extra stuff added, Sledge would probably only run for about 30 to 40 minutes. For the most part, I did enjoy this movie. It did have a low budget, and I really do like the low budget gritty look that a lot of slasher movies have. And with that being said, that is my biggest issue with this movie, the way some of the scenes were shot and filmed. Some of the scenes simply seem to be out of focus. Some scenes are shot in really odd angles, and sometimes we just get some extreme close-ups. So overall, some really wacky camera stuff going on, but overall, it didn't really affect me enjoying this movie, but it definitely is something that you're going to notice if you watch this movie. So to sum that all up, I really do like the look of the movie, but some of the camera work was pretty rough. I also wanted to mention that I really like the main set location for this movie, the campsite, and it does appear to be the fall season, so you can see everything through the woods and around the wooded area pretty clearly, so I thought that was really cool, and I thought they did a really good job of picking this set location to give the movie a really good look. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Sledge. I had already mentioned the girl who's watching Sledge on TV. She's basically a horror movie fan who loves low-budget, cheesy, sleazy slasher films. She has a little bit of relationship stuff going on. It doesn't really dig too deep into it. As far as the actual movie itself, the main characters are a group of friends who are going camping. We have two couples and basically a fifth wheel. And he is the storyline's main character. He also acts as the story's comic relief. He is the one that is doing most of the talking. He cracks a lot of jokes. He has some crude humor. And he does make a lot of references to horror movies. So he's definitely the storyline's main focus. He is in love with one of the other girls who has brought her boyfriend along for this trip. And ultimately, she plans on breaking up with him. So we do have sort of a lover's triangle type thing going on here. We also have some throwaway characters in this movie in the opening sequence. 
It was a really awesome scene, and I thought it was a really cool way to get this movie started. I'm not going to give any of the details away. I just like the way the movie started. Overall, I thought the characters were okay in this movie. I thought the acting was pretty bad. In fact, I believe there's one scene where a guy seems to forget his lines. I thought that was pretty funny. It's something that happens really fast, so you got to be paying close attention to notice it. But I thought it was really awesome that they left it in there. So it's just something that I wanted to mention. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie. That is the killer and the kills. So I really like the look of the killer in this movie. It was said at one point that he wears the flesh of his victims for his mask. Now, it does not come off as looking like human flesh in my opinion, but I really do like the look of the mask. Something else that I really like about the killer is that, obviously, his weapon of choice is a sledgehammer, but he is not limited to only the sledgehammer. We don't really get a lot of backstory on the killer. We do find out he has been terrorizing this area for a pretty good while, and he's pretty smart. He has pinned his killing spree off on someone else, so I actually thought that was pretty funny. Something else that I wanted to mention about this killer is he actually talks. He cracks a lot of jokes and a lot of one-liners. He obviously has a crude sense of humor. He has a pretty raspy voice, so sometimes it's a little hard to understand what he's saying. These are all traits that I thought were really unique and interesting about this killer. As far as the kills go in this movie, it has a pretty decent body count. There's not really a lot of variety with the kills, considering the killer's weapon of choice is a sledgehammer, but he does get in pretty close a couple of times with some stabbings, so that's really cool. As far as the blood and gore goes, I thought it was pretty decent as well. It ranged from really good at certain points to really bad at other points, so I thought the kills were overall pretty fun. I did enjoy this movie for what it is. IMDb give it a 3.3. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, but if this review sounds interesting to you, then you should watch it for yourself and have your own opinion. So please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Sledge, or just let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.